right, let's go over the new top five best class setups after the recent update here at Modern for 2. This video does help you guys out. Make sure you drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, and turn those post notifications. I have a few unicorn weapons in here, so you guys should definitely stay tuned. Now, for the first class setup, we're taking a look at the Chimera, one of the new assault rifles added in multiplayer. Very good for that matter. Now, for the first attachment, we are going to go ahead and rock the Bruin Flash Grip to bump up that sprint to fire speed as well as aim down sight speed. A great attachment on this assault rifle in order to bump up the close range handling. Now, for the tuning, we are going to bump up the sprint to fire speed to negative 0.19, and we're also going to increase that aim down sight speed to negative 0.71 in order to destroy people at close range changes a little bit easier now for the stock we are going to rock the ravage 8 stock a great attachment choice coupled up with that bruin flash grip to increase that crouch movement speed sprint speed as well as aim down sight speed if you guys are running gun aggressive style players this is an attachment you guys want to have equipped on the chimera now for the tune we are going to bump up that aim walking speed almost all the way down to negative 2.09 and we're also going to bump up that aim down sight speed almost all the way down as well to negative 3.48 Remember, maxing out these sliders is not going to be your best option here. It's going to create negative values, making your weapons worse. So make sure you guys tune these attachments to a T. Now, for the optic, we're actually going to rock the iron sight. The iron sights on the Chimera are pretty decent, fairly easy to use at those medium and longer ranges. So we're not going to go ahead and waste an attachment in this category. We're also going to skip over the laser here because these are not helping up the setup whatsoever now we are going to rock a barrel we're going to actually rock the 10 inch sa phoenix barrel to bump up that damage range bullet velocity hip fire accuracy as well as recoil control overall a great attachment to take out players at close range medium range as well as longer ranges and you guys should definitely enjoy it now for the tune we are going to bump up that aim down sight speed to negative 0.13 and we're also going to increase the aim walking speed to negative 0.16 again to bump up the close range handling here now for the muzzle we are going to rock the polar fire s it doesn't say what it does but it is overall going to add that sound suppression damage range bullet velocity and obviously a little bit more of that recoil smoothness so we're going to smooth up that recoil pattern and get that close range capability with that sound suppression and a little bit more of that long range capability with the range as well as that bullet velocity now with the tuning here we are going to bump up the bullet velocity some more to plus 0.77 and we're also going to increase that aim down sight speed to negative 0.99 in order to go ahead and increase that close range handling so we're getting the best of both worlds here close range as well as long range having that ability to run around their spawn with that sound suppression is going to be a huge plus going to make getting higher streaks potentially a nuke a hell of a lot easier and then finally for the underbarrel we are going to rock the f tac 56 to further smooth out that recoil pattern making sure we can take people out very easily at those medium to longer ranges and we're also going to get that added aiming stability and hip fire accuracy now once you guys go ahead and tune this attachment you're going to want to bump up the aim walking speed to negative 4.14 and we're also going to go ahead and bump up that aim down sight speed to negative 0.59 again to bump up the close range handling now, once you guys jump into the firing range with these attachments equipped and tuned, you're going to find that the Chimera has relatively quick ADS, and it's going to have a very, very controllable recoil pattern. This will make it very easy to pull out at those medium to longer ranges. Mainly on the build is going to be the Combat Knife, Sun Grenade, Proximity Mine, and for the custom perk package, we have on Double Time Scavenger, Resupply, as well as Quick Fix. And then finally, for our field upgrades, we have Pro Enabled with Munitions Box, as well as Dead Silence. Make sure you guys go ahead and give this class setup a try. It's an absolute beast, and the Chimera is definitely a great gun to use, to the fact it is brand new. Now, for the next class setup, we are going to take a look at the Mini Bat. This is definitely one of the most underrated SMGs in the entire game, probably because it does take a little bit of time to get it unlocked. You have to use a bunch of other weapons to unlock the submachine gun, but it is worth the time and effort to do so. Now, for the first attachment, we are going to rock the True Tack Grip bump up that sprint to fire speed as well as aim down side speed a great attach to run on this smg because we're going to be able to snap on the players very quickly get that first shot now for the tune we are going to bump up that sprint to fire speed to negative 0.44 and we're also going to bump up that aim down side speed to negative 0.87 again to bump up the close range handling now we're going to be rocking a stock here and we're going to rock the marquee r7 stock normally i'd rock the ultra zat stock or the vlk stock list but that r7 stock is going to drastically increase the close range performance by bumping up the crouch movement speed sprint speed as well as aim down sight speed 
Now you want to go ahead and tune this attachment by increasing that aim walking speed even more to negative 1.24. And we're also gonna bump up the aim down sight speed again to negative 2.32 to go ahead and strengthen that close range handling. This weapon is gonna be dominant at close range. That's why all these attachments and tunes are gonna be either increasing the ADS or that aim walking speed. Now the optic is gonna be unnecessary here because the iron sights are literally open. So it's gonna be very easy to pull out at those medium to longer ranges. And then obviously we're gonna skip over the laser as well because these attachments are not gonna be benefiting the mini back in the slightest. Now we are gonna rock a barrel here. Luckily this is gonna be the only barrel of choice and it's gonna be the box seven 279 millimeter barrel allowing us to have that increased damage range hip fire accuracy as well as bullet velocity just in case we get caught in a medium to long range gunfight this is going to drastically help us out when taking out those players now for the tuning we are going to bump up the aim down sight speed to negative 0.22 and we're going to increase the recoil steadiness not the aim walking speed the steadiness to plus 0.37 so we can go ahead and be a little bit more accurate at longer ranges now, for the muzzle, we are going to rock the Syngard MK5. Overall, a great attachment on the mini back, giving us that sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and smoother recoil. Just a great attachment to use for those close ranges and long range engagements. Now, for the tuning, we are going to bump up the bullet velocity to plus 0.74 and the aim down sight speed to negative 1.22. Just overall great here, close range as well as long ranges. In the following, we are going to go ahead and rock the mini back grip magazine. This is overall going to be just a foregrip here, giving us the ability to have increased aim auto stability and smoother recoil with that recoil stabilization. Unfortunately, we cannot tune this attachment. I want you guys to go ahead and equip all these attachments with the tuning. You're going to see this weapon does have a quick ADS and it's going to have very, very low recoil. So definitely go ahead and give this a try. It's going to be a great SMG to use if you guys are running gun aggressive players. Then the build is going to be the combat knife, stun grenade, proximity mine, and for our custom perk package, we have on double time scavenger, resupply, as well as quick fix. And then finally, for our field upgrades, we have pro enabled with munitions box, as well as dead silence. Make sure you guys go ahead and give the mini back a try. It's an unread SMG. People don't really run it that much, but I'm telling you guys, it is an absolute monster. Now, for class set number three, we're taking a look at the FTAC Recon, one of my favorite guns in the entire game. This is a one-shot kill capable weapon if you guys hit them in the head. And also, if there are any damage, you're more than likely to get a one-shot as well because this gun is packing a serious punch. Let's go ahead and break down this class setup. So first off, we're taking a look at the X-10 Grip. A great attachment on this weapon, increasing that sprint to fire speed as well as that aim down sight speed. Definitely go ahead and run this because with a gun that can kill in one bullet, you want to get your first shot so you can get that kill very easily. Now for the tuning, we are going to bump up that sprint to fire speed to negative 0.36 and we're also going to increase that aim down sight speed some more to negative 0.77. Just overall a great attachment that complements this weapon very much. Now we're going to skip over the stock here. Normally I'd rock a stock on a weapon like this, but there are far better attachment options here. So we're going to have to go ahead and skip over this. If they do go ahead and buff the magazine capacity on the F-Tag Recon, we will go ahead and put a stock on it. But for now, we're going to have to skip this attachment. We are going to rock an optic and it's going to be the Cronin Mini Pro, allowing us to have a cleaner optic picture. The blue dot sight is going to be perfect on this battle rifle. So make sure you guys go ahead and have this equipped. Now for the tune, we are going to bump up the aim down sight speed almost all the way down to negative 2.81. So we can go ahead and get a faster ADS and just overall snap on the players and get those kills. We're skipping over the laser here because it's just not going to be necessary. And for the barrel, we are going to rock the Bull Rider 16.5 inch barrel. This is going to be key and the best barrel to run on the FTAC Recon, giving us increased bullet velocity, recoil control, damage range, as well as hip fire accuracy. A mandatory attachment here the recoil control is going to be key because this gun is going to have recoil without it but once you have this equipped it's going to be very easy to take people out at those longer ranges now for the tuning we are going to bump up the aim down sight speed to negative 0.27 and we're also going to increase that recoil steadiness here to plus 0.40 and overall just make sure this weapon is easy to use at those medium to longer ranges and then we are going to go ahead and run the under barrel here the f tac 56 is going to be a great option because we cannot run a muzzle this is going to be our next best choice for this so this is going to allow us to have increased aiming idle stability 
hip fire accuracy as well as recoil stabilization mandatory here keep this weapon in line and very easy to use at longer range and then for the tuning we are going to bump up the aim walking speed to negative 0.33 and we're also going to increase that aim down sight speed to negative 0.59 in order to increase that close range handling this weapon already has long range down to a t why not make a one-shot kill capable weapon that much more deadly at close ranges and then finally for the magazine we are going to rock the 15 round mag 10 rounds by default is not going to be enough 15 is going to be perfect 15 shots 15 kills you're halfway to your mgb nuke and once you guys jump into the firing range you're going to see this weapon does have a quick ads and it is going to be a one shot headshot and two shots consistent at those medium to longer ranges main of the build is going to be the combat knife stun grenade proximity mine and for the custom perk package we have on double time scavenger resupply as well as quick fix and then obviously for the field upgrades we have a munitions box as well as dead silence definitely go ahead and give this class setup a try it is nasty and quite underrated here multiplayer even though it does kill in one shot now for class set number four we're taking a look at the stb 556 this was the go-to gun still is a go-to gun here after the update but when the game first came out everybody loved it including myself now for the stb we're starting off with actually we're skipping over the rear grip here these attachments are gonna be pretty much worthless on this weapon it's not gonna help us out at all we're also gonna skip over the comb because these are just not gonna help us out i wish we could rock the ttf3 riser for that increased ammo reserve but we just can't have it we don't have enough slots so instead we're gonna jump right over the stock and rock the bruin mx9 stock to increase that crouch movement speed sprint speed as well as aim down sight speed making sure we can take people out very easily at those close ranges now for the tuning we are going to increase the aim walking speed to negative 0.70 and we're also going to increase that aim down sight speed to negative 1.55 again to bump up that close range handling now we are rocking an optic here the iron sights they're okay so people like them but honestly i can't stand them especially at those medium to longer ranges the chrono mini pro aka the blue dot sight is going to be the best choice here and then for the tuning we are going to bump this up to negative 2.52 to go ahead and have a faster ads so we can aim down sights quicker and get that first shot at close range and win those gunfights obviously the laser here irrelevant we're not going to go ahead and equip it for the barrel we are going to rock the bruin s620 barrel just a great attachment to smooth out that recoil pattern giving us increased damage range full velocity hip fire accuracy and more recoil control i love this barrel on this gun it's super easy to use it's going to be a point and shoot laser beam and then for the tuning we are going to bump it up with the aim down sight speed to negative 0.28 and also the aim walking speed to negative 0.29 almost hand in hand here to go ahead and increase that close range handling now we are going to go ahead and rock a muzzle which is going to be the echolus 80 a great attachment on the stb increasing the sound suppression bullet velocity damage range and more recoil smoothness perfect so we can run around their spawn build up a quick and easy streak and outgun everybody we see now for the tuning we are going to increase the bullet velocity some more to plus 0.81 and we're going to bump up that aim down sight speed to negative 0.86 it's going to overall be a great attachment here helping us out at close range as well as long ranges and then for the under barrel we have on the f tac 56 i love this under barrel on a lot of my ars that i used at close range medium range as well as long range because we're going to have that increased recoil stabilization and we're also going to get that aiming out of stability as well as hip fire accuracy and then finally for the tuning we are going to bump everything up by increasing the aim walking speed to negative 0.28 and also that aim down sight speed to negative 0.46 giving us a little bit faster handling weapon once you guys open the firing range this weapon is going to have a quick ads and we're just going to have literally a no recoil laser beam we can use at any and all ranges here manner of the build is going to be the combat knife stun grenade proximity mine and my custom perk packet set up for double time scavenger resupply as well as quick fix and then finally for a field upgrade munitions box and dead silence y'all know the drill man the best setup for the stb and overall a very good assault rifle and then finally for our fifth class setup i have to go ahead and include it because it's really becoming my favorite gun in the entire game one of the most consistent guns to cast off 70 for you let me know down in the comment section is this the best gun seriously the best gun in the game that's good at any and all ranges here so for the attachments you are going to rock the true tack grip it's going to be perfect on this gun allowing us to have that sprint to fire speed as well as aim down sight speed and for that tune we are going to bump up that sprint to fire speed to negative 0.35 and also increasing that aim down sight speed 
to negative 0.74. You can't go wrong here. It's going to be filthy. Now we have on the stock, we're going to rock the Ultra Zat stock here, not the Markeev R7 like we would on the mini bag. The Ultra Zat's going to be perfect here for that increased aim walking speed as well as sprint speed. Now for the tuning, we are going to bump this up by increasing the aim walking speed even more to negative 1.16. And we have the increased aim down sight speed set to negative 1.94, overall bumping up, drastically bumping up that close range handling. Iron sights, perfectly fine. Optic is going to be irrelevant. Laser sight, we don't need it. We're going to skip with this attachment slot. And for the barrel, we have on the BR-209 barrel to bump up that movement speed as well as aim down sight speed. We're going to keep increasing that close to medium range capability here because this weapon is going to be dominant, even better than a lot of the SMGs at its respective range. And then finally, for the tune, we are going to bump up the aim down sight speed to negative 0.34 and the aim walking speed slightly to negative 0.10. Again, to strengthen out the close range handling, just making sure this weapon is disgusting when you guys are running and gunning. Now for the muzzle, we have on the Echolus 80 here. This is going to be a great attachment on this gun. We want to suppress any AR we can so we can have, you know, sound suppression at close ranges. We can flank them, just go crazy in the spawn with a crazy streak. And we're also going to have that bullet velocity, damage range, and added recoil smoothness. Just overall a well-rounded attachment. For the tomb, we are going to bump up the bullet velocity with plus 0.84. And the aim down sight speed is going to be increased by negative 1.17. Just a great attachment here, just helping us out at close range as well as long ranges and then finally for the under barrel we have on the f tac tiger grip you can't go wrong with this for that increased aim idle stability hip fire accuracy as well as recoil stabilization this is technically going to be like the f tac ripper but for the cast off 74u and then finally for the tune we are going to increase the aim walking speed almost all the way down to negative 0.37 and we're also going to increase the aim down sight speed to negative 0.44 again to bump up the close range handling that's what this weapon is going to excel at quite honestly a little bit more than it should and still be good at longer ranges because once you jump into the firing range you're going to find out this weapon has a lightning quick aim down sight and it's going to be very very accurate and easy to use at those longer ranges and the build is going to be the combat knife gun grenade proximity mine and my custom perk packet set up for double time scavenger resupply quick fix and the best field upgrades available munitions box and dead silence Make sure you guys go ahead and give this class at every try. It's a monster. You cannot go wrong with the cast off 70 for you. Now, if there's going to be two classes, I want you guys to check out when you guys go ahead and build these setups. I definitely recommend you guys giving the FTAC recon a try. This weapon is nasty, nasty, amazing. One shot kill capability. And obviously, just to go ahead and get some, you know, newness into your game. The Chimera here is going to be amazing, especially when you guys couple it with that Ravage 8 stock in the Phoenix Barrel. These are going to be the top five best class setups and some of the most underrated weapons here in Modern for 2 after the recent update. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.